Well, as we speak, sentencing is underway for the retired D.C. police lieutenant who was working as an instructor when he shot and killed a special police officer towards the end of a training session at the Anacostia Library. Now, this incident happened a year ago with family members just as heartbroken and outraged today. Let's get to Fox 5. Stephanie Ramirez with the very latest on this case. Steph? And Sharin, we were listening to very emotional impact statements from the family members still going on upstairs. But I can tell you, I did listen to a cousin who said he had never seen two people deteriorate more or as quickly as the victim's parents. The cousin telling the judge that that's what happens when you take the soul and the heartbeat of a family away. He said, you destroy that family. Very emotional again going on upstairs. Uh, this is a family of 25 year old Marissa Mannion here, the special police officer who was killed. The family not all, only furious today that a plea deal was granted, but they also are calling on different city agencies to address what the family says are several policy violations that happened with this shooting. Before court, first on Fox 5, we spoke with the victim's brother. Here's what he had to say. The plea deal should have never been on the table. We know who did it. There is no justification, like I said, on why. Uh, he should have been sentenced a year ago. And for this process to be drawn out, it is unreasonable. Who do we have to blame for this? They obviously don't want to blame him. So do we blame DC for hiring him? He didn't have insurance on his company. Uh, all his certifications obviously go unstanded, but there shouldn't be any reason for us to be here today. That was Radcliffe Mannion there. He held the victim's son, five-year-old son, in his arms as he spoke to the judge today. Jesse Porter is the retired D.C. police lieutenant who was working August 4th, 2022, as an instructor when he shot and killed 25-year-old special police officer Marisa Mannion. Court documents describe baton training that day. And toward the end, the group was taking a class picture when the victim apparently said that she wasn't ready, wanting to remove her face mask. Witnesses said Porter was a allegedly joking when he said something to the effect of, here we go again. Court documents say earlier that day, witnesses also saw Porter pull out a different color training gun and make pretend that he was shooting the 25-year-old with people around him laughing. The instructor claimed to allegedly thought that he was doing the same then, but actually had pulled out a live and loaded gun in that fatal shooting. Guys, now Porter, he was indicted on three counts of second-degree murder while armed, among other charges. But with that plea deal involved, it was pled down to involuntary manslaughter while armed and unlawful discharge of a firearm. Sentencing again happening in just moments. Sharin? Steph, a couple questions for you. Uh, I want to know about this, this police officer who is being tried here. Uh, did he know that was a loaded gun? Did he say that he thought that gun was not loaded? And also, we're hearing the family mention surveillance video. Uh, why was that not released before? I can tell you, looking through court documents, the documents describe him as moving a gun, a firearm, a live firearm in and out of a bag. So he had it on him. And that is something that they said with his 30 plus years of law enforcement and training experience that should not have been done. Uh, a lot of people calling it gross negligence. Now, in terms of this surveillance video, this is something that would normally be entered as evidence if there was a trial. But because of the plea deal, there is no trial today. The family, though, is demanding that that be shared. They are also making serious allegations of what they they say they are seeing in that video. So we're hoping we may still be able to get a copy of that today. The family, though, is expected to speak after sentencing. We'll have more updates throughout the show. Sharin? Yeah. A very emotional day, I'm sure, from that family. And uh, big hugs and lots of love for that five-year-old. Stephanie, thank you so much.